Hey everyone, my name is Patrick and I'm the Trini Manager here at OneLogin and today I'm going to show you how to set up single sign-on for Symantage in OneLogin. Alright, so let's get started. After you get logged in, head up to Apps and then Add Apps. Oh, real quick, make sure you're the admin or the account owner. So click on Add Apps and then you're going to type in Symantage. and then select to manage from the long list and just make sure that you're happy with the display name and the icons and, and ensure that sample 2.0 with user provisioning is enabled and then click on save all right now head on over to the configuration tab and on the configuration tab we need to enter the account name you can find the account name in a couple different places in Symantage if you don't know it offhand on the plans and subscriptions page in settings you can find it as well as the SSO so the single sign on page in the Symantage admin setup so I'm going to enter my account name because I do know it offhand not because I've set up Symantage a million times for testing but just because I have a great memory test one login three all right and now I'm going to click on save now that I've saved and made sure that I have the correct account name which I do I'm going to head to the SSO tab and what we need to do is provide some manage with the issuer URL the SAML 2.0 endpoint and the X509 certificate it's pretty common it's what most applications want so what we're going to do is grab the X509 certificate first so click on view details and then copy to clipboard the X509 certificate and now head on with me to some manage and let's paste this into the certificate field All right, here we are in Symantage, and I have already gone to the setup page. So you start off by default on the dashboard, and then you click on setup. And once you get to setup, you can click on single sign-on, and that's where I am here, the single sign-on page. So I'm going to scroll down, and first thing I'm gonna do is enable single sign-on, because you gotta start somewhere. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and I'm going to paste my X509 certificate into this field. Now just make sure your certificates should contain begin and end certificate lines and that is really important so it knows where to stop and begin. So after you enter your certificate, let's go ahead and enter the identity provider URL. That's the SAML 2.0 endpoint in one login as well as the SAML issuer URL, and that's the issuer URL in one login, both of which on the SSO tab in that app connector. So instead of teaching you how to copy and paste, because I'm fairly sure you know how to do that, just copy those URLs into these respective fields and meet me back here in a few moments. All right, here we are back in Symantage, and I have entered my identity provider URL, which is the SAML 2.0 endpoint, and I've entered the SAML issuer URL, which is the issuer URL, both of which on that SSO tab in the OneLogin app connector Symantage. So we're in good shape. Next thing we need to do is scroll down and select Save, which in, in this case is actually Update. So um, I lied, click on Update. All right. All right, so a couple things that we didn't do were enter a logout URL, which is optional, as well as an error URL. For some of you admins that would like to redirect your users to a specific page or provide a specific error URL if something were to happen during SAML that wasn't supposed to, then you can definitely do that. So at this point, I'll scroll down and I'll talk about these last two options here. So create users if they do not exist in Symantage. This is checked by default and I want to keep this checked. And this is essentially just just-in-time provisioning. It creates a user from the information provided in the SAML assertion if that user does not exist in Symantage. So I'm going to do that and it gives them some uh, a base role here, request a role. And the last option here, redirect to the SAML login page when logging into Symantage by default. 
This is just ensuring that they go to the correct login page if we're using single sign-on, which we are. So I do want that checked as well. All right, so we have already updated. So there's nothing to update, but I clicked that button anyways, doesn't matter. And we are in good shape. So at this point, I would love to test to make sure that single sign-on is working for Symantec. So let's head back on over to OneLogin and test with one of our users.